Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So it, it's pretty much uh, kind of a rinse-repeat market, okay, as we, you know, we've been talking about now for the, the whole start of 2020, which seems to be like one big, uh, you know, one big minefield. It, it's literally the same thing. Horrible news, horrible reality, horrible world. The worst year ever, bear market, bear economy, everything, stocks go to the high of the day. It really is a rinse repeat. And if you go back to kind of how the cycle works, it's groups of strong stocks making a move, whether it's two, three day moves. The second group of stocks moves up one, two days. The first group rests, the second day takes their place, and then the second group lags the first group goes up and meanwhile slowly but surely it's like it, it really is uh, a race it's just a race one after another and if you look at uh, my comments from yesterday okay uh, everything happened that I talked about right and again there's there's a, there's a reason why I say this so pre-market we got a gap up last night number one and this is again how strong the market and how strong the sentiment is last night Trump came out and said you know if, if everything hits the fan, you know, we could be looking at martial law. Nobody wants to hear that, right? Nobody wants to hear martial law. And the future started selling off. And you started seeing, you know, very, very quick, aggressive sell-off in the, in the cash futures. And then you wake up this morning, like nothing happened. Like completely nothing happened. It's like one big uh, Disney movie. It all goes away. It's always a happy ending. And the futures are up 100 points. And quickly, what we, we started talking about last night was this 235 level, right? So the market gaps up and instantly loses that 235 level. So if you guys remember from last night's comments, I said, hey, keep an eye on the tape. If they start losing that 235 area, you know, we might get a pullback. We get that pullback, right? We absolutely get that pullback. There's absolutely, exactly. I said, all right, you know, the market's playing out. And again, what I, what I always say is just because the market goes down doesn't mean the market is a short. And I kept on reiterating that point in the live webinar because, again, as long as we maintain this upward bias in this channel, because, again, every single time it hits the bottom channel, it bounces. Bottom channel, bounces. Bottom channel, bounces. So it wasn't to the point of I want to get short stocks. I just want to see how these strong stocks, whether they're going to rest today, rest tomorrow, or just rest today and rest and just go later. And everything happened. I mean, everything exactly happened. You had the strong stocks that put up a very, very aggressive move yesterday, right? They kind of rested today. And the stocks that we talked about, for example, last night, that were kind of, I don't want to call them laggers, but stocks that were didn't participate in yesterday's rally. For example, like a shop for an Alibaba, right? Like a square. They were already setting up for today's action. And when you look at what happened in the last 15 minutes of the day, it really does show exactly what the market has been doing now uh, since the start of the year, since the start of pretty much, it feels like every bad news that could possibly hit on the table. And then like, again, it's rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. And, and again, the question is, how long can people still complain about the absolute worst, bull, you know, I, I was supposed to say bull market, but the worst, this is actually the worst bear market of all time. Think about it. It's again, how can a bear market, how can a bear economy, how can a bear sentiment be this good? But again, if you go back to months and months and months, even even March, just stop thinking about it, man. Just the stocks that are strong, keep on they're keeping on buying them. Every dip gets bought onto rising 60 minute support. The stocks that are weak, they're e they're 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 even rallying as well. So until there's a completely big macro and I'm talking about macro I'm not talking about one group rallies and then there's a res day and there's a rotation to something else I'm talking about when there's a complete buyer strike and stocks start losing I'm not talking about the 5 10 day moving average I'm talking about the 50 the 100 the 200 day moving average again you have to respect the bottom 60 minute range um, I, you know I, we've been we've been doing these bounce plays now 
for a long time. Okay, I've been recently starting little by little uh, sharing them. Yesterday, for example, I, I shared a bounce play on Amazon that rallied about $14 today. Uh, we shared like a, a, a Tesla bounce play in the bottom of the range, almost went green in the day. Very, very close. Good, good structured res day today uh, for Tesla. But, but again, I, I, I think the biggest problem that a lot of traders are, are, are really coming into uh, facing is is they're you know they're trying to to really outsmart the reality and right now we have an incredible tape we really do and it, again the more you try to rationalize it uh, the less aggressive nature you're going to be applying to your trades with 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 very very small conviction so I've been kind of echoing this 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 uh, thought process for the last two months just stop thinking what you think is going to happen okay we all know the numbers they're horrible. Uh, market continues to be good. Again, look look at Zoom, right? The question of Zoom today, they came out earnings, and the question of Zoom was, well, everybody knows they're going to beat, right? I, I think even my mother's on Zoom. Don't know who she's calling, but my mother's probably on Zoom. So they destroyed their numbers. The question was, was it baked into the stock, right? Big, big run on Zoom. You go back, you know, even, you know, even the last four or five days, the stock has gone up 60, 70 points. So it's not a point of... If Zoom is going to beat, how is the market going to react? Again, you know, pretty tamed, you know, pretty tamed, spiked up to the 218, 220 level. Uh, now it's kind of flat uh, after the regular session. But again, it's, it's almost like the same theory that I asked a couple of weeks ago on the video, right? Does it matter if the stock even goes down tomorrow, right? Look at the run. You even just go, go to the run in the last like four or five days. The stock's up 60, 70 points in the last four or five days. Does it really matter? If the stock comes in tomorrow and tests the 205, the 200 level. And again, this is what really shows the, the amazing uh, internals of this quote unquote bear market. And this is why, again, uh, this market is one of the most, if not the most uh, hated, well, now bull bear market uh, of all time. So let's talk about the indexes uh, really quickly. Again, you look at the Qs, huge late day surge. Uh, again, we're still looking for that area to clear. We just didn't clear it just yet. But we're very, very close to clearing this top of the channel. When you look at the diamonds, again, market continues to be very, very strong. Uh, again, we could test this. You know, the, we could test this supply here, 26,200 or so. Very, very strong. Uh, the S&P will use the spies as kind of a barometer. Again, just slowly but surely swiping in, you know, just just bringing in more shorts, more shorts at the bottom of the range. I bet you, again, if you look at the 60-minute view, and, and this goes basically for every stock, right? Every stock out there right now, you're looking at the same thing. It goes to the bottom of the range, they spike it back up. It goes back to the bottom of the range, they spike it back up. Sometimes it doesn't even get to the bottom of the range. It kind of goes to this middle channel here, spikes it back up. And this is over and over and over again. And until we start losing like this, right? The buy the dip theory, at least for this interval, uh, is very, very important. So going into tomorrow, again, uh, I'm, I'm using basically the same theory that I use today. Like I'm not looking at, you know, stocks that are up 600 days in a row. I do agree, like, for example, Tesla and Tesla had a great, great session today. Not because it was super strong, because it was super constructive. We had a, a couple of bounce plays on this thing uh, on the bottom range. We'll talk about the pivots in a second. But what I like what it did, it put a very, very good, strong session today. Uh, smaller volume closed in the middle of its channel. This is the highest close for the exception of yesterday in this whole formation. This is one, two days away from really exploding. If you look at the, the pure speculation money that was being thrown around today on every dip, by the way. We saw today the 900 weeklies, the 920s, the 950s, the 960, the 1,000, and the 1,100 calls for the weeklies, okay? So this might rest one more day, but you know close to the expiration, Thursday or Friday, they're going to start jamming this thing up again. Again, the, the key is to be patient and continue to buy this thing off the 60-minute channels until it starts confirming this linear regression line a little bit later in the week. Um, also, again, if you look at the names that have been kind of consolidating, okay, they're starting to really come out, okay? And you saw Microsoft, for example, big $3 million bet today on the 185s came out of a range. Shop that I spoke about last night. And again, we'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. But you can see stocks that are coming out with really, really strong distribution, really, really popping out today. Uh, names like Chipotle as well, right? Chipotle, big, strong move a couple days ago coming out. Now, if you look at names for tomorrow, right? 
Like look at NLW. Look how look how tight this channel is. Look at Google, right? Google is coming out. Boeing, I think, is probably maybe what a day away. That looks good. Look at Netflix. Netflix trying to crawl above this 10-day moving average. So the names uh, that we've been watching are looking for confirmation. Again, they're just playing possum. Again, that's that terminology. They're slow playing. They're, they're, they're that slow playing the bears, getting them comfortable, and again. They just start taking off as well. Also, Nvidia as well. Uh, Nvidia is starting to put in a very, very tight channel. You know this thing is just a day away. You see how it keeps on defending this bottom channel, the five day. Okay, so this is also like a day away from really, really exploding. So going into tomorrow, again, I'm looking for uh, rotational names that have been going through four, five, six day distribution. Uh, definitely on watch tomorrow. And again, they played out exactly uh, how we talked about yesterday. Uh, again, Alibaba we talked about highlighted last night. Two oh eight needs to build alibaba's candle today it felt like they they cured covid and racial equality all in one candle seriously look at this candle here's the 208 right here's the 208 just absolutely exploded we started watching uh 220 230 240 uh Ex nearer term expiration, July call buyers coming in. Just an amazing move, absolutely amazing move. Uh, Shop 72 needs to build, got upgraded this morning. Shop looks great. Uh, the 800, the 820 calls started coming in, right? Stock went to uh, 84 and change. I think this thing, the next couple of days, should see this 812 area. Looks great, F fantastic move there uh, as well. Uh, Facebook didn't confirm, Netflix didn't confirm. Square, huge move, right? We started seeing. Uh, the 87, the 90s, the 95 call buyers coming in, all short-term expiration. Uh, here is the break, right? 84.20 went right to uh, 88. Big, big move on Square. Again, that name needs to be bought on weakness. Uh, here is a first early spike here. Uh, you know, we caught this thing for a couple of bucks in the morning. Again, it stalled out by the linear aggression. When 904 went to like 909, and then it came in. But again, I really, really like this thing for more distribution and buying it on dips instead of strength for the next two days until it gets to expiration. Uh, and the video is still watching. Here was AAXN. I found this thing pre-market. I'm like, what the hell is AAXN? AAXN is the old Taser, okay? If you guys know, remember what Taser is back in 2003, 2004, that was the closest thing we saw to the internet craze, right? To this overnight spikes over and over again. And this is the old Taser, body armor, stun guns, obviously a pure play on, all, unfortunately, the riots and looting uh, and all that stuff. So here was AAXN, uh, 9293. Uh, needs to build right 92 93 this thing exploded this thing went to went to 100 so big big move on AAXN uh, Boeing didn't do anything today I still like that level uh, Baba watch the spike take on the way up square take on the way up uh, AAXN first candle was 96 then it went to 100 uh, Baba just going nuts uh, Chewy again, you know, perfect example of water flow. Chewy, we started watching. Uh, 4760 needs to build again. You started seeing repeat aggressive uh, fifty dollar uh, weekly call buyers. Chewy went nuts again. Another you know another you know play of uh, you know the stay at home movement and you know took out the the 47 uh, 47 40 area and almost went to fifty. But you know big big move on Chewy as well. Uh, AXN again big big move on AXN. Uh, Microsoft again when we talked about uh, eighty four forty needs to build. Uh, guy comes in right. Guy comes in three million dollar bet on the July. Uh, 185 calls and here's you know here's Microsoft I still like it for tomorrow you know here's the 8440 closed right at the high of the day at 85 still looks like it wants to run uh, for tomorrow as well and you know again uh, and this is kind of what we do in the live webinar that I don't usually put in the Twitter feed uh, but I thought there was value here and I said look I usually don't put these bounce plays but 883 on any dip 883 and 877 rising support Dip buyers coming in again, 960, 1,000, 1,100 call buyers. And this was, a, you know, this was a great, I mean, this is a really great bounce. I mean, really, really great bounce. Um, I started buying some uh, at 83, right? And I bought more at 77 and change. And the damn thing, like, really started spiking. Went all the way up to, like, you know, 96, 97. Um, you know, I, again, it's just playing possum, guys. Uh, I think, you know, you see a lot of, you know, really novice traders that hate the stock and hate the company. Well, this thing's going to 800 tomorrow in the bull case. It's going to 1100 tomorrow. 
It's not going to 1100 tomorrow. It's not going to 800 tomorrow. There'll probably be one more day, one or two more days of kind of going sideways, suckering shorts, suckering shorts, and probably by Friday, we'll get that big confirmation uh, together. But again, big, big bounce there as well. Uh, perfect. You know, take on the way up like any other trade. Uh, yeah, Michael Green. It, it literally went, it was down 20 and it literally went within a dollar or two of going green on the day. So that's it. I mean, and Amazon, late day on Amazon, 2469. Uh, not a big move, not a big move, but I still like Amazon. Um, you know, only went up like four or five bucks. And this was the one towards the end of the day uh, on shop. I really liked shop. And here was the setup, uh, 71, 771, 72. Uh, needs to build and shop again. Put up a you know twelve dollar candle uh, into the close, and obviously I still like it tomorrow. I know a lot of you guys are along the eight fifteen, eighteen twenty uh, calls, so uh, this looks great. So tomorrow again, got to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Uh, rotation is still in full effect in beta in high tech. The most important thing is we have to watch how channels are confirming in the morning. We have to watch how stocks. Uh, trade with the futures because again, keep this in mind, everything is still bad on the surface and it doesn't mean we need to continue with this mantra. So I always have one eye on the futures, always have one eye on reality because I know again, the last thing you want to do is get caught in a rug pull. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Good job today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.